another day. I figured before we bring any more machinery in here to start going through it, I wanted the floors cleaned up. So we're gonna work on that this morning here before we bring in the rock picker and the field cultivator. <laughs> Now we'll shine this up a little bit better using that highly, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, highly complex floor sweeping solution. Some may just call it a power sweeper, but to me it's much more than that. Nah, that's all it is. I handed that job off to Onyx. It's also a really nice dry day to get rid of some of this spilled corn that we've got here from loading the last two contracts out. We won't be hauling for three weeks again or so, so we may as well get this cleaned up. Snow shovels, they work well for this as well. Except for where there's not concrete, they don't. There, we'll shovel these big piles up, and then when it rains, we'll have nice clean concrete here instead of muddy gush that's way heavier to clean up than it is right now. Muddy gush is just not an enjoyable thing to have to clean up. Well, he dumps that. I'm gonna get the 6175 going. We're gonna take the grater off that, the box blade, because the yard's pretty good now, and even if it's not, it's too dry, really, to, to scrape level. Ditch must have a bird in a tree. I mean, the bird, I'm sure, put itself in the tree. Didge just found it and she just, look at her go. She's going from the birds in the trees to the birds in the rafters in the shed. So this snow blade, Didge, we're taking a clip here. Settle down for a minute. This snow blade, I'm gonna take it off. And I know we're gonna get more snow, but I'm just gonna lose all my gravel if I use it. So I'm planning on when the snow comes, it's just gonna melt on its own without me having to move any of it. pull this into the shop now because we've got to put a hammer strap down on the hitch and take the quick hitch off in order to make it a little nicer for the rock picker. See these Polaris units are so handy that when you get one if you live 500 feet from your house you don't ever have to actually walk again. You just run it back and forth and then there's no reason to put in like a light rail or a tram. In order to get the rock picker on we got to remove this quick hitch which is heavy and throw a hammer strap on there, which is simple. Uh, Onyx, why don't you put the forks on the skid loader and then bring it in here and I'll loosen up this three point in the meantime. Yeah, you're gonna hook it underneath here to lift this up. That side and then the other side. Okay, bring it up right there. Go up. Okay, raise it up just a hair, like a quarter inch if you can. Okay, hold it. Okay, back out slowly. Okay, stop there. Okay, twist to your left. Now come forward. Hammer time. Yeah, that one sticks through because. Go get my butt strap. Before we go any further in the video here with what's going on today, I want to talk about something that 
doesn't get talked about a whole lot, uh, and that is mental health. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I know it's not a big thing that we talk about, but um, it is it is very important. And as a farmer, I know personally firsthand, you know the the toll that it can take on our mental well-being, whether that's dealing with things like markets or unpredictable weather or dealing with family or employees, the people that we work with and work around. There are studies out there that show that suicide rates for farmers are actually between two and five times higher than the national average, which is a, a pretty staggering statistic. But it doesn't have to be that way. You know, we, we can really break the stigma around mental health in farming and, and try to encourage people that are struggling to reach out for help in one way or another. A part of breaking that stigma means talking about our own stories and sharing our personal struggles with mental health. I feel a little bit obligated since I'm sharing this and talking about this to let you guys know that both Becky and I have actually struggled a little bit in the past with our own mental health and we have utilized therapists to help get through that and we've seen a lot of success from that and it's helped a lot. There is no shame in that. That's where BetterHelp comes in. They're not just today's sponsor but they are a lifeline for anybody out there who's feeling overwhelmed or alone, maybe you just need to talk to somebody about something. BetterHelp connects you with licensed therapists who are trained to listen and provide completely unbiased advice. The best part is you can do it all from the comfort of your own home, so you don't need to worry about driving to an appointment. BetterHelp just connects you with a therapist via a phone call, messaging, or video chat, whatever works best for you, whatever you're the most comfortable with. All you gotta do is head over to betterhelp.com slash millennial farmer to get a special discount on your first month. It's a complete win-win. So as we go into a new growing season this spring, let's make sure we take care of ourselves out here on the farm. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. There is absolutely no shame in it at all. Together, we can grow not just healthy crops, but let's cultivate healthy minds as well. Thank you to betterhelp.com for sponsoring today's video. We got interrupted from our rock picker job here. So we're actually working on the leg where we've had trouble with this transition flowing enough grain. Uh, we actually got a hole cut in there right now in the transition. I've skipped a bunch of what we're doing here just because we were doing it instead of taping it. But we're trying to plug it up and see where the weak point is. And so far actually, we can't really get it to do it. It looks pretty good. But we have managed to make a big mess in all the areas that Onyx and I just cleaned a couple hours ago. So that's nice. See what I mean? Well, unfortunately, we didn't get an answer. Uh, we ran corn through there quickly. Like, we were pushing a lot of bushels through there. And it handled it. It looks like it's flowing fine. So what's actually going on? I don't know. But we got that window in there now, we're just gonna keep loading out of there and see if it does it again, because it looks like the transition is working fine. I don't really know. They don't really know either, so we'll just keep an eye on it when we haul in next month, and we'll see if we can get it to plug again. Pretty cool to see down in there, though. I've never actually seen inside there. You always kind of wonder how it's going, but it just kind of twists and flows like water. It's pretty cool. Well, I gave the kid the choice if we wanted to hook up the rock picker first or clean this up first. He wants to get the mess picked up first. I'm okay with that. But that's clean corn, so we're gonna put it in the moline because the moline goes high enough to dump it back into a truck, which means I gotta move the grain cart out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and just back it all the way out of the shed since my goal for today is to actually get to that tractor and that field cultivator. So far, my day is going a lot slower than I thought when it comes to achieving those goals. Anybody else ever run into anything like that? You know, we do have a new muffler for this thing too. I should really get that clamped on there sometime. One bucket full. You know what, that leaf blower is gonna do a better job than our sweeping anyway. Well, that ended up taking a while, but we got it cleaned up pretty good. In the meantime, I had a buddy come by and we welded something up for him, so. We're gonna run way short of getting much done today, so we'll just get the rock picker and the digger hooked up. Hopefully just get them in the shop. Oh, there's that spray trailer that's still for sale. 
We're going after the rock picker though. Give it a few cranks. Well, you said whoever did it didn't put a board under it? Yeah. I'm saying there's a board under it, it's just something in the ground. Grease zerks. Those are the things that need a lot of attention on this thing. So the big things on this are making sure tire pressure is good, greasing all of the grease fittings, which usually when you're doing that, you find something that's a little bit off, a bolt loose or something bent, but not all the time. And then oiling the chain. That's really all there is to the rock picker itself. But we are gonna go through the tractor a little bit here as well. Probably not tonight, because Onyx and I are both gonna have to take off in about a half an hour. Because the semi tires are, they're just a whole different thing. Implement tires don't take the pressure that a semi tire does. How much are the combine tires? Low. I guess I'd have to look to be sure, but probably like 16 to 24, somewhere in there. That one you said was 45 already? Yeah, and this one's like 45 too. Onyx, grab a three quarter on an impact. That one is not going to take any grease. Well, it's full. On the hitch there. Yep. There you go. Tension looks yeah. good. Soak it down. I flipped that around. We're going to finish going through that tomorrow. We got filters and a couple other parts for that thing at the dealership, so we got to head there tomorrow. But for now, I got just got a couple other things I want to put away before I get taken for the night. Okay, that's out of there. Close that tarp. I wouldn't mind firing this thing now and at least getting it pulled outside. That's one of my children's socks. That's what kids do. They leave socks everywhere. She's alive! You know what? I'm thinking I'll just go through this tractor first. So I'll just park this in the shop. It's not supposed to be quite as nice tomorrow. Pretty cloudy, a little bit cooler. Maybe I'll just go through this tractor first. And we'll come back and get the digger. That'll work. So this way, if it's cold in the morning, I got plenty to work on in the shop here so I can have the doors closed and the heat turned up. Okay, I gotta get out of here now or I'm gonna be in trouble. We got a thing at six and I can't miss it. So I'm out. Be sure to check out our merch store link down below. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.